This guy, Russell Okung, is a, I hope I'm not butchering his last name, is a football player. Mm -hmm. And I saw that he posted, um, give me my salary in Bitcoin. And it got a lot of uh, response and, you know, kind of blew up. What's, is this real? It is real. He's using a firm that's going to facilitate the transaction. Half the salary, I believe he plays for the Panthers, Uh will be paid in cash. Half the salary will be paid in Bitcoin. And I I saw a lot of, because my Twitter feed is... (laughs) Is All poisoned with, yeah. <laughs> with what they know I'm going to read. Yep. So a lot of people talking shit saying like, hey, if he wanted to buy Bitcoin, just get your salary and buy Bitcoin. Here's what people don't realize about him because I've seen him being a huge advocate of Bitcoin for years now. He's doing it to bring more attention to Bitcoin yep. and I have no problem with it. And all the people talking shit, like you're just trying to. And they just want to talk shit. Yeah. I don't think there should be any criticism. If you don't like what he's doing, that's fine. That's your problem. But like, it's his money. It's a shitload of money. He's willing to take half his salary, which is $6 million and put it in crypto. It sounds like this guy's been buying crypto for a while anyways. Mm -hmm. He's comfortable. He's allowed to invest his money any way he wants. Bitcoin just has it. It has such passionate believers and people are going to, power it into relevance, right? Because they've all agreed that Bitcoin is a store of value. If he got, if he bought Bitcoin last week and this week, he made 25% more. Yeah. He did last week. Yeah. Yeah. Then just sitting in cash, we can all, we can all agree if, and I'm sure a lot of us held a lot of cash, putting your money in cash the last 12 months was the dumbest thing you could ever do. I think the dumbest thing you could have done, one correction, the dumbest thing you could have done was bet against the market. Yes, which is what I did in the <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was I was more thinking about Taylor. You could have been right. You were right for 2 weeks or yeah. 3 weeks and then you have to lo- understand that like there's too many people have in- are incentivized for this thing to this party to keep continuing and don't get in the way. And I think um crypto is one of those things. Now that the billionaires are involved, it's very different. It they are. They love a good rigged game. I actually saw one. I'm going to share this uh, post uh, uh, talking about Bitcoin and Ethereum and and the way this guy, who's an early crypto person, uh, kind of explained it was: if Bitcoin is your, um, for those that are interested in learning more, if Bitcoin is the gold for crypto, Ethereum is the oil, and meaning that it's going to fuel. I think the biggest use case for Ethereum that, uh, correct me if I'm wrong on it, is the idea of using it for contracts. If you think about cryptocurrency as a new form of the internet, mm-hmm. Ethereum is the plumbing. Got it. It's like the back end, the fiber optics cables. It's the thing that's going to keep the engine going. Got it. Got it. I mean, this is what also happens to Dee's point is like when something's hot, it just sort of snowballs. You know, like Elon's been going really hard. Everyone starts to come out of the woodwork and start to support it. And you get this like snowball effect. I know D will love this. I think Elon said today that the economy in Mars is going to be on cryptocurrency. Perfect. (laughs) Okay. (laughs)